Good morning from the heart, June 29th, Harmony. Matthew 5, verse 9 says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. And as you can see, we're going through the Beatitudes. Those who have glimpses of the perfection of Christ's character will be filled with a longing to become like him. They will desire to be peacemakers and to receive the blessing he has promised to the peacemakers. The enemy of all righteousness will be ready to lead you into a course that will be the very opposite of that which the peacemaker should take. He who loves discord and strife will tempt you to act a part in connection with himself to stir up strife. He will lead you to think that you see in some brother or sister something that is wrong and Satan will urge you to go and tell it to others. But Christ has told you to go to your brother and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. Which leader are you going to obey? It is not in accordance with the natural heart to deal frankly and faithfully one with another. It appears easier to tell your brother's fault to someone else than it does to tell it to him alone, right? But it is his ear alone that should hear your accusation. They who are blessed are those who work in harmony with God, who are laborers together with Christ. The grace which the Spirit of God imparts is a wellspring of life to the soul and will refresh all who come in contact with the peacemaker. It is important that we consider that the spirit we cherish now, the works that we now do, will testify to our fitness or unfitness for the future life. We are now upon trial, and it is to be seen whether or not we will fulfill the Lord's prayer and do the will of God on earth as it is done in heaven. Those who are carrying out Satan's plans and are hurting and bruising souls by their course of action prove that they are not the children of Christ. It is best that every one of us should do right because it is right. Didn't Martin Luther King said that? Do what is right because it is right. And thus we may create about us an atmosphere of peace. We shall not then be found pressing to the side of Satan's human agents to catch their spirit and to repeat their words of accusation and reproach against those who are seeking to be obedient to the commandments of the Lord. We shall not link in with the adversary of souls and aid him in stirring up suspicion and strife and in causing souls who love God to be tempted to do evil. Hope you have a great day today. Live from the heart.